Just three and a half years ago, in July 2018, there was only one. Doctor Who The Collection Season 12 came out and blew us all away with the fourth Doctor's first classic season. In the years since, nine other box sets have popped up at a steady, well, relatively steady pace. And now we have 10. So when exactly is the next box set, season 22, coming out? And what's going to be next on these shelves after that? <sighs> you know what? Why don't we just stop for a moment, take a deep breath and celebrate the first 10 collection sets? I mean, obviously, when I say that, I mean, let's rank them at breakneck speed right now. Now, I spent quite a bit of time trying to figure out exactly how to judge these things. On which basis should I judge them? Should I do it in a holistic way, taking into account the serials, the special features and the artwork? At one point, I even started writing index cards for each set, and then I realised I didn't have time and it was a bit ridiculous. So, I'm going to judge these sets quite simply on which are my favourites. But, at the end of the video, I'm also going to hand out two extra awards, one for best special features and the other for best artwork. Number 10 is Trial of a Time Lord, aka Season 23. Oh, poor Trial of a Time Lord. I know, I know. But just because this is at the bottom of the list doesn't mean it's terrible. I've always had a soft spot for Trial. I like its epic ambition. And there are some real quality special features in here, including the writer's room, which we sadly haven't seen too much of since. This is the one in which Eric Saywood and Christopher H. Bidmead go head to head over the pub table. There's also the Doctor Who cookbook revisited and the Doctor's table in which Colin Baker has some friends over for dinner. Plus a really good Matthew Sweet interview with Bonnie Langford. So it may be at the bottom of the list, but it's a really strong box set. Number nine, season 24. Now, I'd certainly be lying if I said that this set contains some of my favourite stories of classic Doctor Who. But once again, this is a beautifully well-rounded package. There's an overview feature about the making of season 24, a brand new making of for Delta and the Bannermen. I mean, I'd rather that money went to a new making of documentary for the Horns of Nymon or the Deadly Assassin, but I'm also aware it doesn't work like that. And Matthew Sweet talks to the Seventh Doctor about his life and career. Number eight, season 26. There's some fine stories in here, like The Curse of Fenric and ghost light and there are some seriously chunky special features packed into these seven discs with several extended or alternate edits it's a real delight for the seventh doctor enthusiast by the way before we get to number seven let me tell you that i made a page on my site that gathers together all the collection box sets into one place along with various details including the serials and links to my unboxing videos wow yeah when season 10 is at number seven in this list you know that there have been some incredible box sets released so far in this series season 10 includes some real bangers like the three doctors and the green death and there's quite a few special features on this one including a really nice 90 minute documentary about the Pertwee era called the third man with Stephen Moffat and Mark Gatiss and then there's the featurette keeping up with the Joneses in which Katie Manning and Stuart Bevan return to Wales to relive the green death so once again a pretty essential box set I'm saying almost halfway there now number six is season 17 oh I love some of the serials on this there's the horns of Nymon one of my favorites and city of death a classic that most people can agree on plus three versions of shard oh. there are some lovely special features on this some really good douglas adams stuff and a really funny tom baker appearance at a convention but no making of for the horns of nymon <sighs> now that we're halfway through the list let me shock and surprise you by telling you which of the collection sets has the thickest spine It's season 14, with a width of 51.5 millimetres, including the J-card. Yeah! We now enter the top five with number five, and that is season 12, that very first release from July 2018. The run of stories is absolutely indisputable in terms of quality, going from Robot to Revenge of the Cybermen and taking in the Ark in Space and Genesis of the Daleks along the way. And for a first release, this series really started as it meant to go on. It's a serious bevy of special features on here, including the top Tom Baker years released from VHS, Tom Baker, Louise Jameson and Philip Hinchcliffe on Behind the Sofa, and new making of documentaries for the Sontaran Experiment and Revenge of the Cybermen. Yeah, this was an incredible start to the range, even if far too few of them were made, causing all kinds of problems. Number four is season 18, Tom Baker's final season on the show. I'm a big fan of this run of episodes, I like the new feel that uh, John Nathan Turner brought in. From the Leisure Hive to the Legopolis, there's no doubt that this one gave the show a whole new overcoat for the 80s and there are some great special features in here weekend with waterhouse need i say more oh you want more okay well there's 
the season 18 writers discussing their work in the writers room, a new Legopolis making of documentary and new updated special effects for that same serial. Yeah, this is a really good one. Number three is season eight, a lovely slice of vintage Pertwee with axons, autons and daemons, the unholy trinity. There's great special features on here and in particular three documentaries by Chris Chapman, namely The Direct Route, Devil's Weekend and Terence and Me. And by the way, I did an extensive interview with Chris Chapman, which you can find in its very own playlist on this channel. I'll put a link on screen at the end of this video. Those documentaries are fantastic. I think Terence and Me in particular with Frank Skinner is a real winner and one of the best that this series of box sets has ever seen. And then of course you've got Autons, Axons and Daemons. Oh my, what a killer set. Only two left now, so which is going to be number two? Well, it's season 19. Yes, Peter Davison's first run of episodes as the Doctor. I'm a big fan of this series. I was watching Doctor Who at the time as a kid and I was pretty happy with the changeover as much as I love Tom Baker and I absolutely adored Earthshock even though it put me through emotional hell as a child. And when this box set came out I remember being incredibly impressed with the special features. It really felt like an incredible amount of effort had been put into this stuff. There's something really special about the features on this. There are five new making of documentaries which is pretty amazing. An extended episode of Black Orchid Part 1 and a whole load of studio footage including Beryl Reed being a tad difficult during the filming of Earthshock. This is a really special box set and I think it richly deserves its place at number two. Yes number one in this list is season 14. What an absolutely corking run of Doctor Who this is with the Mask of Mandragora, the Hand of Fear, the Deadly Assassin, the Face of Evil, the Robots of Death and the Talons of Weng Chiang. Season 14 is so strong that I'm even prepared to overlook the fact that there isn't a new Deadly Assassin assassin feature on here which is a real shame. Nevertheless there's a wonderful feature on here from Chris Chapman celebrating Sarah Jane the character and Elizabeth Sladen the actress. There's the entire 1977 documentary Who's Doctor Who which carries a lot of nostalgic value for me plus a documentary about that documentary and Matthew Sweet talking to Philip Hinchcliffe. To be honest even though there's some amazing special features on this in terms of quantity of them there possibly aren't so many as there are on other box sets but it's the sheer power of season 14 in terms of the serials that drives this all the way to number one. So I did say I was going to give a special award for special features and that gong goes to season 26 with all its extended and alternative versions of the serials and things like a brand new Curse of Fenric documentary one hour long and a great documentary that I forgot to mention earlier about the life of John Nathan Turner. So yeah I think there's so much stuff. I mean look at the list. It's kind of indisputable really. Season 26 wins I think in terms of the sheer quantity and value and quality as well of the special features. So which box has the best artwork? You know if it wasn't for the master being conspicuously missing from the cover of season 14 then that one might well have got the prize because it's otherwise absolutely gorgeous. This is really difficult. All of Lee Binding's covers for this collection series are superb and as you can see with the forthcoming season 22 the artwork's only getting better but I think this one might be my favourite. Yeah, season 8. I think it's the lovely fire-like glow in here and that array of absolutely vintage foes that really takes the cake. What do you think? Tell me down in comments. Click here and you'll find a playlist of all my Doctor Who The Collection unboxing videos. And if you click here, you'll see my series of interviews with Chris Chapman about his documentaries for season eight. Thanks for watching. Hit like if you enjoyed it and hit subscribe for a new video every week from me.